In this video, I will be showcasing the Dataflow sharing feature, which allows users to share data flows with different users and application roles to enable collaborative data preparation. I'm currently logged in as DV author user, so I'll navigate to the profile to show you that I am logged in as DV author user. And as this user, I've created a data flow called sharing dash demo, where I'm unioning together some order information from 2013 and 2014, and I'm applying various other data preparation steps. I'm saving this data in a data set called total dash orders, and I've already run this data flow. So for now, I will save and exit back to the home page. I want to point out some important facts about the data flow output data set. So I'll navigate to the inspect panel and you can see that the owner is DV author user and the object ID, which serves as a unique identifier for the data set contains DV author user in the object ID. Let's imagine that this user wants to share this data flow with their finance team so that they can review the data flow and make any necessary changes to the output data set. You can do this by opening up the inspect panel of the data flow and navigating to the access tab. On the access tab, you'll be able to see which users and application roles have various levels of access to the data flow. I'm going to give the application role finance DF authors access to this particular data flow. And you'll see that you have two options in terms of control. You have read, write, and full control. The main difference here is that if you give a user or application role full control, they will be able to modify the access on the data flow. In this case, I'm going to give this particular application role full control. When I hit save, I'm prompted with a share related artifacts pop-up. This essentially prompts the user to propagate the appropriate permissions to associated data flow artifacts. So in order for another user to successfully run this data flow, they need at a minimum read only on inputs and full control on outputs. These permissions are automatically propagated if you have that share related artifacts button checked and you hit save. If you don't automatically apply the appropriate permissions through this pop-up, you'll have to manually assign appropriate permissions later on. I'm closing out and I'm logging out as DV author user and I'm going to log in as DV author user two, which is a member of that finance DF authors application role that we um, just gave access to the data flow. I'm verifying that this user, DV author user two, can see that data flow sharing dash demo. You can also search for it in the search bar. So I'm gonna open that and show that we can also make a modification to this data flow as well. I'm clicking the plus button in between rename columns and save data, and I'm adding a step called add columns in order to add another column to this data set. This is a very simple example, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm adding a column called total underscore costs, where I'm adding together cost fixed and cost variable. So I'm validating that and applying that to add this column to the data set and I'm just visually making sure that everything looks correct. It's important that you don't make any changes to the save data step and that you don't remove the save data step itself. Otherwise, you may run into a few additional issues down the line. I'm saving the data flow and now running the data flow. You will see a success message pop up at the top of the screen when the data flow has completed successfully. I'm going to open up this workbook called sharing dash demo that was created by DV author user using the output data set of the data flow and it has been shared uh, with DV author user too. So you can see that on the left hand side of the screen, the new column that we added total underscore costs is visible. And if I inspect the data set, you'll see that the new owner of the data set is DV author user two. However, the object ID, which again serves as a unique identifier, contains DV author user as part of the name. Overall, it's important to consider the changes you make to an output data set if the data set is used in a workbook. I want to also point out that you can share sequences in a similar way. So if you bring up the inspect panel of the sequence, you'll also see this access tab where you can then add different users and or application roles and give them either full control or read write access. Um, so right now I'm giving full control to a separate application role and you can see the affected artifacts where I'm propagating the appropriate permissions.